This is the fourth year that the Twisted Kilt Society has hosted the Southeast Alabama Highland Games and Scottish Heritage Festival right here in Dothan. And joining us now live to tell us more about this upcoming event is Mr. Chris Bailey. And thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So you're actually the president of the board of directors. Is I that am. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell us. It sounds like a fun event. It's going to be held at the Peanut Festival Fairgrounds. Yes. This is our first year there. We're really excited about getting to switch over to that location. Yeah. It's just grown every a year, so mm -hmm. now you need that uh, large of a, a place to host the event. Yep, okay, so talk to us a little bit uh, about some of the games specifically that's going to be there that's featured. Uh, a lot of the games uh, they're historically uh, done in Scotland when clans would get together. There are six competitions, and the easiest way to describe it is basically like a Scottish strongman competition. Oh, wow. But I tell Love people it. if they've been flipping through the TV and they've seen a man in a kilt flipping a telephone pole, <laughs> uh -huh. that is the iconic of Event. That's the caber toss. Uh, we have that event so as that's well. What it's called. Yep, okay. the caber toss. So All right. that was on my list of questions. I was like, <laughs> what in the world is that? Okay, so anything that you might think that you might see, you're probably going to see. Absolutely, Just, okay. yeah. Uh, and there's also a kids zone. I've been told as well. Yep, we have a children's area. We've expanded it this year. We're going to have more activities for the children. Um, we're going to have all of the same family clans that we've had mm -hmm. in the years past. I think we have over 20 different families um, uh, that are going to be there represented. Um, just a lot of fun. We're going to have uh, pipe and drum bands. The bagpipers will be playing. Sounds so like a lot of fun. You should have brought a bagpipe this morning. You don't want you me to play a bagpipe. No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. Huh? No, no. Okay, so uh, just to remind folks, it's March 19th. It's going to start at 16th. Oh, excuse me. We That's need to okay. correct that. Yes. This is 16th. Excuse 16th. Me. I had this that Saturday. Wrong this Saturday. I'm uh -huh. just, I apologize. We'll okay. get that corrected. The 16th, yes. at, starting at 9 a.m. 9 a.m., absolutely. Peanut Festival Fairgrounds. And yes. tickets, let's talk about how much tickets are. Uh, uh, tickets are ten dollars. Children under ten are free. Okay. And we are uh, we're going to be at the south entrance, so people will have to go in the the one that's a little bit further down, uh, gotcha. two thirty one. Okay. Uh, we're going to be underneath the uh, rodeo arena. Okay. Our biggest problem each year has been weather. This year, with the change to Peanut Festival grounds, mm -hmm. it can rain. It doesn't matter. Everything's going to be covered. Okay. So rain or, uh, rain or shine, we're going to be out there. Weather is not an excuse this year. Okay, so good. That's been right. a concern every year until this year, so hopefully okay. we'll be. And, and plenty of food vendors, I would imagine? Absolutely. We have uh, several traditional food vendors that will be serving Scottish food and uh, food from the British Isles, as well as a couple of local favorites, um, some local barbecue and uh, okay. a couple of different companies. Uh, I believe Dothan Ice Cream, a couple of great local companies are going to be partnering with us again this year. Okay. And now I was going to ask you earlier, but I forgot, do people need to purchase their tickets in advance or do they get them there? They're at the gate. Okay, it's at, all the, at gate. the gate. Okay, yes. so you don't have to do anything in advance, just mm -hmm. show up. Show up. Okay. Is there a website or a number that people need to call for more information? Uh, mostly on Facebook. Okay. Uh, we do have a, a group on Facebook, Southeast Alabama Highland Games. Okay. Uh, that's where the most information is. We do have a website, uh, wiregrasshighlandgames.com. Okay. Uh, that has our information and any phone numbers if people need to contact us. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time this morning. Thank and, you so much for having uh, me. We appreciate it. And um, we'll put more information on our website at dothanfirst.com. And let's go ahead and take a look outside.